Starting the process of assisted living for an older family member, even a spouse, it can be a lot to handle, right? So this afternoon we have Melissa Todd with Ohio Masonic Community with us to go over some of the processes. And, and thank you. It's good to see you again. We, we had you a few months ago. Um, Ohio Masonic has a facility in Waterville. It's on the bluff overlooking the Maumee River, a beautiful campus, a uh, big facility. How many residents can you handle there? Quite a few because we have independent living, assisted living, and a memory care. Um, we're focusing on our assisted living uh, because we're excited to announce that we have been approved for the Medicaid waiver program. Now we'll talk about Medicaid waiver, but it, uh, probably the, the, the process of getting approved for it must take a long time. How long, yeah. how long does it take from application to, uh, to approval and like what all does that entail? Yeah, it really depends on how prepared you are as a family. So if you're just starting your search, it's starting by coming visiting us, talking with us, and potentially submitting one of our applications so we can help guide you through the rest of the process, especially if you're not sure if your loved one does need assisted living or specific activities of daily living. We've got to talk about that, we've got to break it down, and then we can kind of set in motion what the turnaround time frame is gonna look like for you to move in, get assessed, and get approved in the future. It's no news bulletin breaking that assisted <laughs> living is expensive. Uh, that's just part of the package because you're talking 24 hour care every day and uh, nurses on duty, the whole mm -hmm. thing. Um, and not every family can afford that. Uh, and unfortunately we have in Ohio and everywhere else Medicaid, which, mm -hmm. which helps a, a resident or a family help pay for that when it gets down there. But typically what's a rule of thumb on what, what, what kind of planning it takes to be able to afford to, to be at a place like that? Yeah, so you mentioned Medicaid and you know, Medicaid waiver is not to be confused with Medicare or Medicaid insurance. This is a specific program that only certain assisted living communities like Browning Masonic Community have because they've applied and been approved through the Ohio Department of Medicaid. Um, so that's what we're here to offer to our community because we get calls every day where someone says, my loved one's 72 years old, they've worked hard, we need some care for them. We are shocked by the cost of assisted yeah. living. What do we do if they can only afford your rent X amount of years? And we're very fortunate now that we can say, don't worry, rest easy, you know, come live with us for two years. As long as you can meet our 24 month private pay criteria, yeah. we can transition you over to the Medicaid waiver program with us. Your loved one will not be disturbed, removed, or have to leave the friends and families that they've built and the relationships that they've built with the nurses and staff there. What is Medicaid exactly? Is it something the state provides and the revenue comes from taxes we all pay typically? Not necessarily. Um, the Medicaid waiver is a state and federally funded program. Okay. Um, and what it does for us at least is it becomes a criteria of financial assets. So you go through a spend down. Sometimes there's a five year look back. Well, there is a five year look back where we have to make sure that funds were uh, allocated properly, not put in trusts or given away to grandchildren. And then through that, we can offset the cost of the monthly rent through the waiver program. So yes, it is supplemented by um, the Ohio Department of Medicaid. So for your company to now have Medicaid availability is just huge because it opens up, uh, it, it, it's no longer a small, well, the percentage. Now right. it's anybody could go there eventually. Yes, and that's the concern for families. You know, they ask me, well, why has no one else told me about the Medicaid yeah. waiver program? And I have to tell them, they're not talking about it. Maybe it's because they don't have it. And that should be something you're asking when you're visiting different assisted living communities. What does this look like now? What does this look like in a year or five years? Should my loved one go through their assets in that time frame? We have about a minute left, but like, what, what is it about the people that work at these facilities like, yeah. like Ohio Masonic, they, they must love the elderly people and it's, it's got its challenges, but <laughs> uh, uh, from my exposure and my experience personally, yeah. just wonderful people work in these facilities. We have some of the best, most passionate staff. Um, we are lucky to work with the families and educate them because not everyone has done this before. We yeah. hear that every day. Walk us through this, guide us, yeah. tell us what we don't know. What should we be asking you? You know, what, what can we expect 
it's a lot. And then if you're also dealing with a loved one who's currently undergoing a health crisis, you have that on top of a financial conversation, on top of finding the right pay place that has the passionate and caring people for your loved one to reside with. Melissa, you guys do great work. Thank you so much for what you do. If more information on uh, the Ohio Masonic, there he goes. There's the address in what, like I say, it's on the bluff overlook the Maumee. It's a beautiful campus, beautiful area. There's the website and the phone number if you'd like to know more information. Melissa, thank you much so much for being here today. Come back again, okay? I will, absolutely. Thank you so much.